Hello gamers, uh, Pet here, welcome to a first look at a game called Warlock 2 The Exiled. I've been wanting to make a video for this game for like one month, but things happen and I didn't have time, but you know, better late than never. Another funny thing is that I actually had a giveaway where I gave away a key for this game and I kind of wanted to have you know a first look for the game and then I, I will tell you guys to go to gamerpad.com slash giveaway where you'll be able to win this game but I had to go to Bucharest and other kind of stuff and I didn't have time to make this video but now is the time and I'm going to make the video and I'm going to show you what Warlock 2 The Exile is and you can still go to gamerpad.com slash giveaway for a chance to win other kind of stuff because I'm actually having a couple of uh, different games and so some other two items to give away. Anyway, what is Warlock 2 The Exile? Uh, is it worth to buy it if you already have Warlock. Well, in a way, I guess. Some people have been saying that it's not worth to buy the Warlock 2 because if you have Warlock 1, because blah, 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 I don't care. It's actually a pretty good game. Now, if you are wondering what this game is and you want something to compare it to, I will say think of uh, Civilization, the fantasy version. Right, okay. Now, off topic, off topic wise, a little bit, uh, when I did the, um, the Age of Wonders 3 first look, I mentioned that I watched a preview for Age of Wonders uh, 3, and there, and that preview made by some guy, he said about five or six times during the 10 minutes uh, preview on how Age of Wonders 3 is civilization uh, fantasy version. If you like civilization, you are going to enjoy Age of Wonders 3. Nah, 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 nah. If you make comparison, at least know how to make comparison. And I will ask that guy that made that preview, if Age of Wonders 3 is civilization uh, fantasy version, what is Warlock to the Exile exactly? Huh? We, with what will you compare it to? Anyway. Let's go into the game. One of the first major additions to the game will be uh, the Exile mode, which is basically a different kind of mode, which I'm going to show you uh, in a different way. Um, at the same time, I'm also going to show you the editor, which is something new. So let's create a mod. We will call it uh, Pet, I guess. And with this mod, you can basically create your own personal mod. You can basically change races. You can, uh, as you can see, you can um, you can modify spells. Uh, if you click here, modify. You see, these are the spells, and I can change uh, uh, the stage, the spell power, damage, and other kind of stuff. Uh, and I can also change units. And I can also create basically my own campaigns. And this is one of the major additions to Warlock to the Exiles. As you can see, if you click single player, if you click mod campaigns, there is nothing there because I don't have any campaigns. Probably Paradox is going to and to release some kind of DLCs or something with campaigns or something like that. But basically, you can create your own maps, your own mods that you can basically then load up into the game, which is kind of great. Now, what I basically want to show you here uh, is the map mode, which is going to... Ex um, basically, I'm going to just create a map. That way, you will be able to see how the maps in the exile mode look. Sandbox mode is basically the classic civilization mode. Uh, the exile is the new mode. And uh, let me actually show you how the map is looking. Loading, 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 loading. Anyway, it's kind of a fun game, if you are waiting for my opinion. I enjoyed it a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have too much time for it. Uh, but basically, this is like the first map, right? This is what it generated. This is your town with some cities, right? These are some mobs. These are some other mobs, right? The thing is that there are different worlds and they all look like this. Uh, you see, I started here, I believe, and then it, uh, not, not different words, are different planes. Think of it like that, right? In sandbox mode, you only get like a round, big planet, and only one or two extra worlds, or on a one underworld or something like that. But um, 
uh, with this it's looking a little bit like this right and you will have a normal progression probably from here when you start you're going to level up build a couple of units you're going to send them through this portal and then you're going to get here and then you're going to try to conquer this kill out the mobs and then you're going to get to another plane and so on so it's more uh, a little bit puzzle based because you will need to see how you are going to resolve each world and not so much sandbox mode okay but uh, kind of it's a new mode and it's a new an interesting mode but now if you are looking for the classic experience let's say it uh, we are going to battle for out planes mode just got released i haven't even uh, had chance to try it out so i'm glad that they are still improving the game after the game launch keep that in mind battle for our planes mode it's a game mode in which you complete com compete with the ai or other players for dominance over the outward shades all except uh, Ardenium. It's basically, you know, kind of similar to the Exile mode, but with a more um, sandboxy experience. And yes, you actually have multiplayer. You need to log in with the Paradox account and so on. New game, Sandbox. Next. And basically, this is, uh, you know, prepare to be a little bit amazed if it's the first time you are seeing this. You'll be able to create different type of, uh, you know, small, medium, large maps. We also have uh, a mode. This is a great land. You have a super continent. Uh, you have, have whole continents mode or islands mode, right? Uh, let's put it normal. And then you have how many rival mages you want to have. And then additional worlds. You will basically be able to create additional worlds where you will be able to travel to. And also another change will be flat world or a cylindrical world, you know, like a globe. Anyway, let's click next. And then this is one of the most interesting parts of this uh, twist. You know, you know, <laughs> Warlock is like a twist, uh, maybe civilization with a twist, right? You'll be able to control one of those guys. And those guys are basically your civilization, right? If you want to call it like that. And uh, each of those guys have different perks. Um, this guy has, it's an arc mage, so casting speed is plus 20%, he's also a conjurer, he also has this kind of spells, um, this guy is a glorious tactician, you need power plus 10%, um, this guy is a researcher, production plus 3 of books, and uh, this is King Rat, <laughs> it's kind of funny, he's a trader, he's a treasury and he is also a magnet, he, so it's basically gold based and he's also a uh, race monster, so you see, this is race uh, Svartz, uh, this is also Svartz, this is race undead, even that she doesn't really look that undead, but I'm not going to spend time reading the biography and see why she's like, this guy is Plantsiders right uh, she's human so you also have race and you can also customize them by if you want to modify the perks or the spells and so on which is kind of nice i kind of really really enjoy this addition so let's just start with uh, this guy i guess because he's looking cool so nice actually 2d drawings i love them so basically we created a world uh, we choose our character and we are going to start a game and uh, this is basically the normal sandbox experience. Now, again, you are, if, if, when you're going to see this, if you already saw Warlock 1, and if you already have Warlock 1, you'll be like, I don't need this, like, right? I already have Warlock 1. Well, they added a lot of spells, they added a lot of units, so there is an improvement to it. So if you have, maybe, if you if you are questioning if you should get this, wait for a sell and, you know, for a, an offer and buy it, if the price of the game is too much, but I do recommend you to get it because it is fun. So basically this is, you know, like in civilization, you will have a city, but there are of course different type of things. It, it, it's not working the same. Uh, I'm going to explore a bit. One of the first thing that's different, uh, right now I'm going to research a spell and it's, it's kind of depending on what you want to get and what you want to do. Let's just research this one and let's also construct a building. One of the first thing that's going to be different than on Civilization series is uh, that let's if we want to build, let's say we want to build a farm. The farm is actually getting on one of the hexes and it's not virtually putting on this city hex. 
the buildings are occupying the hexes so also when you are going to expand the borders you are going to have more room and um, soon we are going to explore and we are going to have access to pumpkins and we are going to be able to build a pumpkin farm uh, we are also going to get um, resource iron and we are going to build a uh, probably some kind of blacksmith right and we can also recruit um, skeletons so let's actually build some skeletons you can actually build buildings and units at the same time uh, and this is also the building tree so there are a lot of things for you to uh, discover so it's kind of a new uh, new thing it's a new it, it's a fresh new experience so we are going to end turn things are going to happen and then we are going to move again Look, these are neutrals. These are basically some minotaurs. Uh, and we are going to fight with them. Okay, and turn. Let's construct a building. And look, you see, it improved. We can build a foundry because it's requiring an iron. And you will see what this is going to do. When you are going to build this, let's click on a u some units. Uh, you see, we actually have where it is, where it is. Maybe I don't have it yet. Uh, yeah, I don't have it yet. B because I'm building this, when I'm going to build that, I will be able to upgrade some of my units with some kind of unique perks that come from that building. Uh, it is also build it up. Some archers, which are going to be pretty good since we want to kill the minotaurs the minotaurs or however you pronounce it hey we can also build skeleton settlers <laughs> isn't that fun fortunately i see that my webcam is kind of in the in the but you will be able to see the minimap anyway okay so build the harbor okay and another addition to this game is that you will be able to get quests and you will complete quests again fantasy experience so let's actually try to do to cast a spell we are looking here lesser shadow bolt casting time 0 0.8 cost 18 i do have i because i have 13 i can i, I will be able to cast it uh bane weakness the target unit loses some of his power the lower blah blah blah, blah. Oh, never mind. I, I actually want eight dead magic. I want that to be casted. So I dealt some damage. So nice addition to the game. Let's actually do this. Can you shoot? Oh, they can't shoot anymore. Skeletons move kind of uh, slow. Retreat a bit because I don't want to lose that unit. But it seems that the minot Minotaurs are in uh, uh, city range. So I will be able to shoot at them. Poof, minus 15 damage. And there was something else, but I forgot what I wanted to show you. Monster's turn. Okay, advance. Advance. And turn. No, you're supposed to sit, <laughs> sit put. I'm very rusty right now. Okay, let's build some uh, more things. Assign unit orders. Uh, heal. Unit orders. The Minotaur disappeared. Okay, shoot. Critical hit, but they haven't done too much damage. Okay, some man, Gun some mean redmen are blocking the entrance to our city. They demand gold and it's not passage. No spell, my lord. Give some illusionary gold. No. No, I don't want to fulfill their demands. What drive them on the bandits attack? Okay, kill the bandits. Accept that old glory. Research complete. Select a spell to cast. I don't want to cast any spell right now because I don't have um, you know mana. But I'm going to research Shadow Bolt. Uh, shoot again. Don't deal damage at all. And go there. Ooh. I got some gold, but <laughs> there are some skeleton archers there, so I need to be careful. Okay, they are attacking. That's not good. I need to fall back right now. Anyway, there are a lot of stuff for you too. You see, these are unknown worlds. Uh, I'm going to find a port and I'm going to be able to go there. It's... Um, it's a nice twist. If, if you want to call it like that, you can call it a civilization with a fantasy twist you know mechanics that you found in other strategy games mechanics that you found in some rpg uh games you see masterwork armor i think 
Oh, I've completed it. And if I click it, if I click here, select a perk, I can basically for 50 gar uh, gold, I can give this perk to that unit. But I only have five. I can only give these perks to five units because I only have one building on that thing, right? So there are a lot of uh, good additions like uh, like that. But other things you will be able to explore uh, by yourself. Again, if you are wondering if you should purchase uh, Warlock 2 versus Warlock 1, there are a lot of improvements. But if you are questioning this, then you probably will want to wait. If you are not questioning this and you just found about this game, I do recommend you to try it out because it's fairly amazing. So thank you guys for watching this. Don't forget to go to GameOnPlay.com slash giveaway for a chance to win games. Again, I, I had a key for this game and I gave it away. It, it was a two weeks giveaway. So again, I apologize. I've been wanting to make a, videos, a video about this game for one month, but I didn't have time. So I'm trying to catch up right now. Again, thank you guys for the support. See you soon. Goodbye. <laughs>